Did you know that vaping can be used to stop smoking and to wean off of nicotine in just four stages? In the first stage, the smoker dual uses, which means they continue to smoke while they get the hang of vaping. Some experts claim that vaping is ineffective for quitting smoking because many dual use for a while. Dual users observed in controlled clinical trials reduced the number of cigarettes they smoked by 60 to 80 percent. This significantly reduces the toxins they inhale. The second stage is when they stop smoking and vape exclusively. At this second stage, they have dropped virtually all the toxins found in smoke and reduced their risks to less than 5%. That is why vaping is harm reduction. The third stage is to reduce the strength of nicotine they're vaping. E-liquid that goes into a vape comes in varying concentrations of nicotine. You can't get that with cigarettes. Once the vapor has lowered their nicotine to a very small dose, they can vape e-liquid without nicotine. The vapor still has the satisfaction of the behavior while they get used to no nicotine. It's interesting to note that the government of British Columbia, Canada has made e-liquid without nicotine illegal, making this step unavailable to the citizens. Crazy, eh? The fourth and final stage is to stop vaping nicotine-free e-liquid and since there's no nicotine dependence, this can be pretty easy. So that's how vaping helps smokers get off of nicotine. Please visit vaep.info. We even provide links to the studies that we base our content on, so you can make sure our information is accurate.